Okay, back from the break. Um, what are your tips for someone who does not have a crush on anyone but still wants to date? And what is your opinion on sex use of toxic masculinity? Example, oh, I get laid away more than you do. I'm a better man. Slash, I get laid more than you. You are a beta loser incel. Well, obviously, sad shit. But also, like, not to say that only happens to dudes. Like, I remember I was... Com- oh, it sounds really sad. I was comparing my number to someone um, years ago. Your what number? Like, the number. Oh, your number. Right, right sorry. Right. Yeah. I mean, wasn't even compared, I was just like... And I think that happens between dudes way, way more. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The idea of sex as a scorecard. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it was like, this is actually the only person... Okay, we've done it as We've well. done it. Okay, it's two It's more like a curiosity thing for me than a, like, than a like, status to thing. To be fair, the only... Ad- they were also a very, very close person. Mm. So, like, two people that have done this way. Just, like, number, number. Mm. Um, and they said theirs. I said mine. And, and still, I was like, oh, shit, what? That's huge. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So even then, like, so I can completely understand that this is a sort of feeling that one would get, not only in like, like a dude sort of environment. Sure. I mean, yeah, there is a pressure to have lots of sex, and that's a bullshit pressure because what's more important is they have better sex, in my opinion. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so I guess in a way, um, I felt a bit more in my life that I've dated less, but I've. Um, cared about the the sort of the amount and the quality more well, you've, had long, like the, you've had a lot of long term relationships yeah yeah yeah, yeah sure. but difference. like not to say that like the fact that you haven't dated you still don't care about those particular mm. issues so I don't know like again the question is just like what is your opinion on this particular thing like obviously thing, we like, think what like toxic masculinity <laughs> is bad like we talked earlier this episode about the idea of like men predominantly men treating sex as a kind of like scorecard Precisely. and like treating it as, an int- uh, as a like transaction unless it's with the sex worker as very very problematic and that if you're going into sex to like up your number don't have sex yeah but i think a lot of people do and this is what has been a huge revelation for me so to put our cards on the table um i didn't really know much about like i don't know like for all of our exploration of what like you know sex on the left means and all of our like opening and that we're actually like we're pretty vanilla the reason why me and rowan is doing the show and no one else is because like even our closest friends we wouldn't necessarily feel mm. um like the connection or the openness yeah we managed to like, be in a space where we can talk about sex with each other but that's like also not that common and like a lot of men i've, I've spoken to like lefty men don't talk about it at all or only talk exactly. about it with one female friend yeah, or yeah. This, because also they're lefty men that are aware of like in their scene, it's not cool to be like, high five, bro, I got lead. For a good reason. But therefore, that means that they end up not talking about their sexual experiences at exactly. all. So yeah, that's precisely it. Like, we're doing this, but we don't want you to give a feel that like, we're around this like a particular circle that just like everyone is so like cool and easy to talk about sex all the time. Not at all. Not if anything, at all. We're literally kind of rebellion against this. Yeah. And like, people, like close people to us, like go like, can't believe we said that or like, can't believe we talked about this. Yeah, people don't talk about sex on the left. But also because sex is seen as like, you know, that's not revolutionary. That's not like oh, don't this, even this, this. get on my beef about like, the anti-fascist groups not sharing our stuff. But fine, 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 sure, fine. Also, I just wanted to tap into your part where you said like you've never had a crush, but you do want to date. And I just want to say like I don't get crushes very often, but I really enjoy dating. Like I generally only I'm like so much better than I am because I only get crushes after I've got to know someone and I'm sort of like politics and stuff. But like I would only start dating someone without having fancied them before. Maybe that makes me like a super bad person, but like. If I only dated when I had a crush on someone, I would be a barren wasteland. Well, I guess I'm quite the opposite, as in, like, I just, I don't really date that much. Well, I guess, mm. just, like, I don't want, like, just because of my, like, fairly... When I see Poyama, it's still a fanny <laughs> But anyway, it's, it's just, like, uh, and yet I crush on people all and the I'm time. I'm so jealous, because I love that feeling of having a crush. And, like, it's so fun, like, looking forward to them, like... Being around oh, you. Oh, the dance, and, like, like the paradise birds, yeah. the dance. And you're like, you want to kind of be fine, but you don't want to be too much. Like, I, the one time I've ever had a crush, I enjoyed that so much. I know, the, the exquisite pain is there. Yeah. It's rewarding sometimes, but um, I don't know. I just, I still, I would, I would. I think it used to be more fun back in the day now. It's just like, oh, this is going to be my life. For yeah. the rest. Like, this is at least six months of torment, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, basically, what I'm trying, I guess what we're trying to uh, say to you is that like, these sort of scoring exercises or people really um 
okay, base. I guess the left is full of people that are trying to come with people as well. And so we're not trying to say that the left is somehow above this or we're not, or, no. or. They yeah. don't talk about sex, but sex is present in every fucking conversation. Yeah, and like, even, if, even if though we're, we're, we're seeming to be in a comfortable environment to talk about this, we get called out about being this open about this all the time. So although very, very correctly, you're assigning this to like a bro culture, which is a thing, um, do not underestimate just how much um, the radical leftists still do not really understand just how much uh, how much of a difference it is for like a woman to go on a hookup and like the shame walk and mm -hmm. how it is for a dude. So we thank you so much for like acknowledging this. And one thing, if we could one do one thing with our project, if we could get, I can't believe this that this is like because I was yeah. Um, if we can get one for the dudes that do go on to uh, one night stands when they feel insecure themselves to be caring of the woman, woman like that that would be that would be really huge yeah yeah you can want to have a one night stand and even like get a score on your notch or whatever the fuck it is and still not treat the person you're sleeping with like shit I'm it's still so also easy a not huge to treat believer them like shit. that like uh First time around is never that good. Like, yeah, sure, literally. sure, you can be visceral. Sure, you can be like, you know, really quick and like, I don't know, somehow utilizing the spaces around you, all of that stuff. But like, I mean, again, that happens. Yeah, I would like someone who has lots of hookups but never has a long term relationship is less likely, I would think, to end up having very, very good sex than someone yeah. who is with a partner and learns what they like and what they like. And oh my yeah. God, we're both just coming all the time. Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say something to be said about, I think there's a certain, um, I would like to say a certain uh, trend as of late, hopefully, because there is a bit more feminist porn out there, even on, on the mainstream sites, even like to do with, fuck it, I talked about squirting it up on this <laughs> channel, but like even, to use your fingers on someone, mm. to use your hands, to use to use certain particular, even very graphic ways to please yeah, a woman. It's not all about the dick. Like I think it used to be way more now. Yeah. I think it's a bit. There is a certain space now of opening up. But like in my sexual <laughs> fantasies, like th like the the penis is only a very small part of them. The ones I have, like the specific, like I have three, and like the the penis is like. Mm, it's involved, but it's not the main, not, not the main act. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And it's also like the whole notch on your bedpost thing, the whole idea of like rating and like, I've had more sex than you, therefore you're a beta or whatever. Like, what does sex mean to you? Like when we were doing a scoring, I was very confused. Like the threesomes count, like sleeping with a woman is a very different thing from sleeping with a man. Like there's a Did lot of like- Did they make them come? We fake all the time, by the way. It's a thing. You are not a stud if this woman has gone, ah, 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 literally. <laughs> so like, yeah, so many, and this is sad, this is bad, this is toxic, this is masculinity, this is misogyny, we shouldn't be doing this. And we're as, as guilty of doing that. But the reason we're doing that is because there's a prep pressure when you're having just like penis centric sex of like, he's doing this thing. He's like, are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying it? You're like, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. it becomes like, again, like the transactional idea, like, because also, I've been in situations before in my past where like I wanted the sex to stop just because I'm like okay this has been really good but I'm like kind of tired now and they expect me to come because they want to feel like they're a good lover right and it ends up with a situation where you're like faking pleasure to make them not feel inadequate which is again very yeah. weird like because I can like really enjoy sex without having an orgasm yeah absolutely. so it's like yeah yeah, I know. I thought yeah, it was so from the question. No, but. no, no, but the score, basically, the scoring, the score is not how many people you've inserted your bits into. Sadly, that seems to be the yeah. Germany. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the score is like how many people you've made blind come, mm. right? And um, um, I think people that you have actually made to feel that way you're more likely to want to repeat it again come to think of it this is fascinating like come to think of like i don't know whatever the one i stands i've been in if i have even um people that i haven't faked it with and actually they got me to that place they're more likely to like want to be with me again yeah than the people that like um 
I perform the certain beauty. But I guess the whole problem is with the toxic masculinity thing is that they don't care about wanting to do it again with the same person, right? The whole point is. No, but like I think there's a certain um, performativity. Oh, no. I think there's a certain reward of them knowing that they've actually delivered. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And they would oh, rather be with a hard man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, but and they would rather be with someone that they did. I mean, I would like to think that most people, at least submitting questions to us, like seeing your partner ecstatic is like a killer part of sex. It's like one of the main parts of sex. It's like seeing your partner like fall to pieces. That's like awesome. And and yeah, the people that are probably saying these sentences that you've outlined in that question are not... Um, not those people. They're not those people. I don't think they've seen anyone actually fall to pieces, no. you know what I mean? No, if it's about the numbers, not... Like, if, you know, uh, like, say, like, like with everything, it's about quality, not quantity. Like, and also, someone in a long-term relationship is probably having more sex than someone who's like casually dating because you have sex... Like, you have to go out hunting for every time. You can, but like, then again, we live in such a like bubble of an existence because, like... From the little bit of the mainstream that I have witnessed thus far, um, it seems to me like it's 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 savage out there. Mm. <laughs> it's really dark. It's like uh, people, especially like coworkers, they get together. Then like the dude usually feels like they're above someone else if they fuck them and left them already. If it's like city boys, that sort of mm-hmm, shit, mm-hmm. it's like it's dark as fuck. It's really, really bad out there. <laughs> it's really hard, to, like I think, particularly as a dude, to like ignore those signs and symbols that say that like numbers matter or whatever. But like, orgasms matter. Orgasms matter, and also not just orgasm, but like having a satisfied partner. Like, and if you are that guy that like literally goes around like giving stupid, if you are NHS National Health <laughs> Service. <laughs> that just goes around town like giving mad orgasms to, uh, to everyone like I encourage you yeah yeah man if you're giving head all the time like call me <laughs> <laughs> but good good fingering does a lot as well or yeah um, and also I don't think we've ever said this before have lube just have lube. Have lube. Just have lube. Like, don't be like, I don't need it, man, because she's so wet. You know what? She's probably like frantically spitting on her fingers and rubbing it when you're not looking. Like, and also, even squirting, it's just it's like it's pretty watery. It's like yeah. it's not. It no, it's like it. shower sex and like exactly. bath sex. Like water does not count as lube. No, it's like rubbing. Like, and there's one word again. One thing that we can get through our eight episodes of yeah. things like water is not lube. water is not lube. Have lube. It's weird if you don't like. Just have some, yeah. Serious, yeah. Yeah. Like, one way to get to understand whether someone is a player or not is, like, whether they have loop <laughs> or if they don't, it's like... Yeah. yeah. And, like, also, like, by the way, what how, like, how wet someone is is not necessarily a, like, test of how, like, aroused they are because, like, different people produce different levels of liquid and such like that. Absolutely. So, like, you can be, like, as turned on as fuck and not be wet and that's also valid and just give it some fucking And loop. this also really depends on the cycle as well that you're mm-hmm. in. So, yeah. this is... Totally, like, no, it depends on si- the cycle. It depends on like, uh, like whether you've been hung over and stuff like that. Like, totally. Yeah, it's oh like, my god, it's a super thing. Like, just have lube and you won't go wrong. <laughs> well, unless you really are terrible. Yeah, I just feel like a terrible. Case, like, you can learn. One can learn. Yeah, yeah. Well, we all learned. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna tell you one place. So yeah, I mean, I don't know if we've helped. I mean, your question was quite yeah, but we've also talked about the. The idea of making women not feel used after sex in like earlier episodes of the same show, so check them out as well. Um, yeah, yeah, and the whole idea of like scoring and just like you know, I don't know, dating and um, not having a crush. Um, good on you. Yeah, like you're lucky. Most I don't know. I feel like yeah, as I say, like I have a crush, but I don't date. <laughs> yeah, and it's fine to date and not have crushes. Like dating is fun. Like getting to know someone is fun. You don't have to like. But be nice when you tell them the next day that you're not into them. Yes, yes. that's the main thing. Yeah. Just treat people with respect and oh consideration. Oh my god, I cannot believe that a basic dog like this still requires such like a... No, but it's, it shows that we are in a bubble. And even in our bubble, like men treat women like shit. Yeah, so, yeah, you yeah. Know, don't like, think that we're in a good bubble. No, we're not like, oh, our place is so much better than your no. place. No! <laughs> our place no. is just as fucked up as the mainstream, oh, just with like slightly man. different rules. Yeah, and or like they give better excuses. They mm. just don't like blank it completely. No, they, they use the buzzwords. Like, they use the buzzwords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, if you want feedback or you have more questions, please do let us know. 